Hey, uh, Obias checking in here. So I watched the new thriller, Blink Twice, that stars Channing Tatum as a billionaire tech CEO who invites young ladies to his private island where he drugs and takes advantage of them. The movie is Zoe Kravitz's directorial debut and I'm gonna give her her props on this joint cause up until the end, there were no major special effects at play. They really just relied on good acting, nice scenery, and a sinister story to keep you entertained. I think this is Miss Kravitz's way of exposing what she's experienced in her dating life cause her fame and fortune gave gives her access to the type of millionaire and billionaires that could pull off some crazy-ish like this. Slater King seemed to be inspired by Jeffrey Epstein, a billionaire who abused his power by inviting young ladies and underage girls to his private island getaway where they were allegedly victimized, but when asked in an interview with IndieWire if Slater King was inspired by anyone in particular, Zoe Kravitz said, yeah, it's all a metaphor. It's not so literal. So that Epstein situation, that particular place and person, that documentary or whatever it was, came out not even halfway through writing. She also said, I set this on an island because I wanted to isolate the characters and have them deal with this situation. I was thinking about, again, the Garden of Eden and Lord of the Flies. And I'm not just talking about powerful men at that level. It could be your husband. It could be the man down the street that's following you home. It could be your boss. It could be a family member. There's power on different levels and abuse of power on different levels. And so how do you encapsulate this big idea into specific characters and try to find a way to make it relatable? People connect that to specific things, but that's not the way it was thought about, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't think she's being completely honest about her film not being inspired by the Epstein situation because of all the clear similarities, but she's right about there being different levels of power that have been used to take advantage of women. We never got an explanation for Slater King's actions just like Epstein, but it looked like a cry for help or maybe the demon within surfaced when he was saying I'm sorry. His actions threw me off completely though cause he did all that for a girl who was down to smash day one and he didn't even have to take her to his island. This was probably orchestrated for his weirdo friends, just like Epstein was accused of because Slater had all the girls competing for his attention. Overall, the film had some thrilling moments but had a painfully slow build up to the ladies' violent get back once their repressed memories surfaced. So I'ma run, blink twice, two and a half mics. If you made it this far into the video, then you're obviously enjoying the content. Hit that like and subscribe button for more movie breakdowns you can't get anywhere else on YouTube. I'm only responding to subscriber comments moving forward, so lock in by hitting that like and subscribe button, and I'm going to get up with y'all on the next video, all right? Ha. Uh, at me. You hypnotize off the hatred. Deep down, you don't wanna see us make it. Deep down, you'd rather see us in the basement.